This is a Sony WM-FS555. Now, I haven't found the exact release year for this particular model, but it's circa 2002, which makes it one of the last cassette Walkman. The last cassette Walkman, by the way, was the WM-FX290W, released in 2004, at least according to Wikipedia. Anyway, by 2002, having a cassette player Walkman was pretty uncool. Almost everyone had moved on to portable CD players ages before some people had switched to mini disc players. The iPod had been on the market since October 2001. For being a device that was essentially gifted to people by well-meaning but uninformed grandmas, it's pretty sharp for its era. I don't quite know what the aesthetic is though. Is it Y2K? Is it Cybercore? It has auto reverse and the playback direction can be toggled with a switch on the top along with the standard fast forward play reverse and stop buttons. You can cycle through various menu options in the LCD for Mega Bass, which everyone always just left turned on, tape type, and an option to limit the volume so you wouldn't go deaf. Only huge nerds would have used that option. It also has an FM tuner, weather radio, and weirdly could tune television station audio as well. Sadly, that feature no longer works because the government shut down analog television signals so politicians could sell off that bandwidth to help enrich their already wealthy friends. <laughs> the government. Since this particular Walkman has lived its life in Maine, it has all the traditional Maine channels programmed. Channels 2, 5, 6, 7, 12, and 13. Real Mainers know what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, it's waterproof, or at least water resistant. The WM-FS555 runs off a single AA battery, and Sony claimed 32 hours of life before it needed a new one. Now, I haven't actually tested it out because I only just got it from my brother's secret stash of rescued tech. It sounds pretty okay, actually, although I do have to pull the headphone jack back just ever so slightly to get it to make it good contact. And I'm guessing here, but I think the original headphones had a ring of silicone to keep the water out, and that gap was accounted for in the design. Or maybe my headphones just suck. Anyway, that's one of the many cassette players that I have in my collection.